Hello there, good morning. I am Tiffany Mercure, and we are going through 100 Days in the Secret Place, this little book. And so we're not in secret place together. We are going through this little book just to, as a way to stir our faith. It definitely stirred my faith when I went through it the first time, and I just felt the Lord leading me to go through it with you here on the channel. So hopefully you can glean from this, learn from the Lord through this. You don't have to purchase the book. We just welcome you. We're glad you're here. And that's what we do here on this channel. We just want to go with where God is leading us because his way is sure. It's always on level ground and never disappoints. So let me read you what this old saint says about self-love. I was a little surprised this 17th century person, not just the person, he's a saint. He's with Jesus now. His name is Fenelon. He says this about self-love. God's way accomplishes his purpose quicker than anything you could think of. God is able to seek out and destroy the root of self-love. God is able to seek out and destroy the roots of self-love. I know I just read that. <laughs> so, you on your own could never find those hidden roots. God can see the entire path of self-love within your heart. Follow him simply wherever he may lead you and you will not have to think up big plans to bring about your perfection. Your new life will begin to grow naturally. Give yourself as completely as you can to God. Do this until your final breath, and he will never desert you. I don't know about you, but I've sort of used that term. I don't know that I use self-love. I, I say self-care. You know, I've called it self-care to find time to eat a meal with another mama so that I'm making sure I'm socializing, <laughs> you know, because I'm a stay-at-home mom who's raising her kiddos and homeschooling. And so other other moms, we know that we, we need social time. So I know I've called that self-care, but you'll hear us, you'll hear mamas, you'll hear women talk about it with doing, getting our hair done, our nails done, getting facials, doing this, doing that. He's addressing it in such a way that it's so clearly defined that self-love he goes on to talk about it in the book uh in many places so you'll you'll hear it come up again but what do you think about this what do you think about him addressing the issue of self-love because at its core the nature of self-love is to seek out and define what will give us fulfillment in this life when it's always jesus it's always going to be jesus if we're not fulfilled in him there's something wrong. We're seeking to put ourselves above him, making ourselves an idol, right? It reminded me of this scripture too, though. Tell me what this, uh, this today's reading, what scripture did it remind you of? Write it in the comments below if you don't mind. But it, it drew me to uh, Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So Lord, we repent. We repent of trying to fill a void in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits with anything that is not you first and foremost. We repent. We, we repent for putting ourselves on a pedestal and trying to care for ourselves in such a way that it boxes you out, Holy Spirit. We repent. And Jesus, I ask you to bless each mama watching today. We thank you for the grace you have for mamas. I pray for the mamas who've lost a child. Will you gird them up now and strengthen them and comfort them today and every day, God, that they can walk in joy again. You can walk in joy again, he says. And every mama who wants a, a baby, Lord, I ask you to bless them with that sweet bundle, <laughs> sweet bundle from heaven. Have them prepare their hearts and their homes for the purity of the blessing that comes from you, Lord. All good gifts come from you. There surely is value in cleansing your heart and your home without anything the Lord sees as impure. Search our hearts, God. Search me. Search us. Search our hearts. Know our thoughts. Get rid of anything that is not pleasing to you. In these, all of these things, I pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.